Hi friends, I am Ashish, your instructor. I'll explain you about the features of Nexus and NX OS. Uh, right now I have two devices. This one is Nexus 7K and this one is Nexus 5K. So we'll talk about these unique things about NX OS and this Nexus uh, hardware. We know that till now we have been studying about iOS and various Cisco uh, platforms like 4500, 2900 or 6500 but this this is very different this is known as Nexus operating system NXOS so since it is different there are many features which you will only find here and those will not be there in the iOS first thing is the licenses so in the iOS like let's say 6500 we simply install the iOS it works there is no such case of license but in Nexus when you have the device you need to have the license in place to be able to use all of the feature or feature set let's let's start it the command to check the license is show license it will give you detail about all of the licenses which have been installed like this is the license this is the second license okay and this is the third license so in case you want to get brief detail of it you can use show license brief there are four license files which have been installed into this device similarly on the Nexus platform Nexus 5k actually you can use the same command show license or show license brief it has three and this one has four and now you want uh, if you want to install the license how you can do it okay first of all you need to copy the file into boot flash or in USB or there should be external memory slot okay you can copy it there the file which ends with the name dot lic is your license file you can also see it here that will be your license file so let's say that I have got this license let's find out dir boot flash you can see that there are many files present here okay I can say that there are two license files which are available so let me uh, install this one or let's say I want to install this license file though it is already installed that I know but let's see the procedure to install it it's very simple okay uh, command is install license give the path is it boot flash or slot 0 or it's USB 1 or 2 question mark okay I have actually boot flash also note this thing if you select USB doesn't mean the USB of your laptop it's the USB which is connected on the hardware alright install license uh, then let's say boot flash colon double slash use question mark you will see soup local soup active it means the supervisor engine where I am right now it's the active one I'll local is also same both are same I'll use soup active now question mark you can see these many files are available I want to install this file I'll simply use MDS and see uh, <coughs> I'll use MDS and then we'll use uh, tab <coughs> okay now you can see that there are two options available I want to install this license so I will just use 2 1 and it will complete the file name I will hit enter it will give error message because the file is already present license file already exists please use a different name for the new license this is the way you can install the license okay similarly on this one 5k also has same command let's try it install license boot flash whatever okay 
and now the question is what in case you do not have license and you've got this device you tell Cisco that I will buy this device but I will test all the features for two three months please give me a dummy, dummy device or any test Nexus text uh, test Nexus 7k in case they have it so they say that if you if you've got the hardware Nexus hardware and you don't have the license don't worry we have grace period for you enable that grace period that period will be for 120 days after 120 days your uh, all the features will cease will stop you need to buy a license by that time so how to enable that what is the drawback first drawback is that the VDC will be default only you cannot create VDCs in that that's the only drawback that I have in fact that I know uh, you have to use your default VDC to perform all the functions all the features so how to enable it go to config mode and license and grace period this command doesn't work from the privilege mode it doesn't work but that install license command works from both from this one as well as from the config mode but you will not be able to use the tab uh, in the config mode so you have to use privilege mode for installing the license but for installing the grace period you need to use it use this config mode okay it will it will enable but since we already have got licenses so that's the reason this command will be of no use to us similarly on the nexus 5k license grace period enable it will work now you can check show license actually it won't give you any uh, detail about the grace period So this is the this is all about the licensing in Nexus OS. Now we'll talk about the features. Friends, uh, anything that you want to use, you need to have the relevant feature enabled. Feature is as good as having the services enabled. It is not like iOS, it is very different. In case you want to run OSPF or BGP or EIGRP or interface SVI, switched virtual interfaces, you need to have the feature enabled. Let's try it. I'm going to create layer 3 VLAN 88. See, there is error message because feature is not enabled. We need to enable the feature. Feature space. What? Interface VLAN. Hit enter. It will enable the feature. Interface VLAN 88. It is now created. I can configure the IP address. let's see see earlier it was it was not working similarly if I want to create router BGP 100 it will not work I, actually it has worked because I have already enabled the feature so let me show something else to you uh, let me see features first show feature you can see enabled disable enabled and these are disabled okay ISIS is disabled this is enabled okay OSPF is disabled let's use router OSPF one okay now we need to enable feature feature space OSPF router OSPF one see now it is working you can even check from the show run OSPF you'll find it here that's the special thing also not one more thing show feature you can create four instances of OSPF for IPv4 and four for IPv6 okay that's means uh, though you can have any number of OSPF on routers but this Nexus has this limitation you need to use only those instance instances which are available similarly for RIP ISIS as well for interface field and obviously it's only one 
BGP, we know that only one BGP instance can be created on a router, so that's the reason we have only one. But this is for your information. Okay, in case you want to enable MPLS, then that is not a feature. Actually, that's a feature set. That's basically a technology. Okay, show feature set. See, it is right now actually uninstalled. Also, fabric path that is also part of feature set. So you have to enable feature set for these things to work. Flex MPLS fabric channel over Ethernet. Similarly, on the Nexus 5K platform, it is almost same. You can see that OSPF. You want to use OSPF router OSPF one. It won't work. You know it very well. Feature space OSPF and okay, no available license. Okay, like I told you, you also need to have license in place. First thing is license, then feature. That's the reason. So we don't have any license for that. But uh, anyways, we have that in Nexus 7K. So we've discussed about licenses, features and feature set. So friends, I hope that it's been informative to you and I would like to thank you for viewing. Have a nice day.